Hey YouTube! So I wanted to do a really quick video to give you guys an update and let you know how things went today. So today is cycle day two and we had to go to the reproductive endocrinologist um, in order for us to be able to um, do a cyst check and they wanted to do that either on cycle day two or on cycle day three and we just opted to go with cycle day two because it was better for our schedule and we really just kind of wanted to um, no one way or another if we had a cyst um, because if we had a cyst we wouldn't be able to try again this month so we did the cyst check and we ended up with the same ultrasound um, technician that I cannot stand um, but she had better news today uh, she said that there aren't any cysts yay and um, my lining was up at about four um, so that was pretty typical um, at being at menstruation cycle so sadly, I think to um, my wife's disappointment, there wasn't a baby in there. Uh, yesterday, she told me that there was a chance that we still could be pregnant, even though my period was there. And I tried to convince her and she really wanted me to take a test. And I was like, no, I'm not willing to do that because I know that we're not pregnant. So I think the ultrasound confirmed it for her and she's now ready to move on to the next step. Um, so one thing that really did irk me though about my appointment was that the same ultrasound uh, technician that I don't like made a really snide comment about me being 25 and I was a youngin. And you know, I even hear that on my mothering boards. Um, there are some older moms that are there on the boards and I always get, oh, well, you're 25 and you'll get pregnant, no problem. And now here we are, you know, over a year later and we're still not pregnant. And it's just really annoying because just because I'm 25 doesn't mean that I'm going to get pregnant at the drop of a hat because clearly we're not pregnant. Um, so that really kind of annoyed me that she was just saying about the um, ovarian hyperstimulation from last cycle. She was just like, well, um, apparently your eggs really liked it a lot. And she was like, and how old are you? And I said, I'm 25. And she said, oh, you're a youngin. Like, oh, you don't have any problems. It was really, it rubbed me the wrong way, but it's probably because I don't like her anyway. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway. Um, so we uh, didn't see our doctor, but we did see our wonderful medical assistant. I absolutely love her. She is the best. It's like she runs the ship. And so um, she gave us a new prescription. We are switching medications. We're no longer going to be on Clomid since my ovaries seem to like those too much. And we're not quite ready to do IVF yet, so we don't need that many eggs. Um, so they switched me to Femera. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about it. We really just literally got home and so I'm going to um, do some research on Femera and see what the difference is. I'm really hoping that we don't get hyperstimulated again this cycle and to ensure that I'm going to cut out all the extra um, herbs and supplements so I won't be taking my bee pollen this cycle. I won't be taking the maca this, this cycle. I also won't be taking um, as much of the fish oil or the flaxseed. I'll probably end up cutting out the flaxseed altogether and I also won't be taking the pregnancy prep. I'm not sure if that's what caused ovarian hyperstimulation but at this point um, I think I want to err more on the side of caution and just take vitamins more for my general health and if it seems like you know those herbs are really helping and if this cycle doesn't work then we'll revisit um you know doing it again i am going to go still do um, acupuncture at least twice a week i don't know if i'm going to do it three times a week um, just for overall general health and for fertility what else is going to be different this cycle um, I can't promise that we're, I'm not going to stress because obviously last cycle I didn't think that I was going to stress and yesterday just hit me really hard. So yeah, um, what else? That's really just it. Um, it was a good day. I felt a whole lot better than I did yesterday. I woke up feeling much better, a lot more confident about this cycle. And so um, we are going to continue as much as I want to give up, we're going to continue. Um, we kind of are on a search for a new donor, not because there's anything wrong with our donor that we're currently using. We're using Frozen. Um, the problem is that we're using a sperm bank that is charging significantly higher than a lot of other sperm banks. And the issue is that we're African-American and we would like for our donor to at least have um, a little bit of African-American in them. We're okay with um, 
biracial, but um, it's really difficult to find an African-American donor. And so whereas other people can just go get Mr. March or Mr. October, whatever the special of the month is that I hear all the time on my boards, I can, we can't get that because we um, would prefer a donor that looks like us. So we would like to find a sperm bank where the sperm is not so expensive so that we can get more vials because right now we are literally at about $675 a vial and that does not include shipping. So uh, when I say that we're spending thousands of dollars, um, it's literally thousands of dollars per cycle. That doesn't include fertility medication. The really good plus though today was that um, the Femera is actually covered on our insurance yay so we don't ever have to switch back to Clomid again because Femera is covered and Clomid was not and so I'm super excited about that even though I don't like the reason for what Femera is actually used for I'll just overlook the instructions <laughs> on the page but that was exciting bummer though when I was picking up my prescription the pharmacy tech said are you pregnant I just kind of looked off in the space and I said no Clearly, I'm in here getting fertility medication. I'm not pregnant. Anyway, so I thought it was funny. I really wanted to tweet it, but I already had a tweet rant yesterday to kind of let some people in. I think DP really wants us to keep it like close to the vest and not tell people that we're struggling with fertility. But my thought is that if I had diabetes or if I had cancer or if I had some kind of other ailment, I wouldn't hide it because I'm not, I wouldn't be ashamed of those. And although we are ashamed that I am infertile, um, I don't know. I don't feel like all of us that are infertile should be ashamed. It's not something that we asked for. And so, yeah. But anyway, that's my two cents for the day. So anyway, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Like I said yesterday, I am going to update my blog. I really need to update my blog. And I think I'm going to start doing some variations, maybe not exactly what I wrote on or not exactly what I said on my vlog. Um, maybe I'll start writing about some other deeper, more personal things that I might feel. So the blogs are expanded. They're not the short, concise portion of the video, but um, I guess I can make them about something else. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe up there if you haven't, and check out the blog down there if you haven't as well. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll check in with you guys um, either tomorrow or the day after. I'll let you know if I'm having any symptoms on the Femera. I start on cycle day three, and I do it through cycle day seven. So I will start tomorrow night. Anyway, many blessings. See you later. Bye.